I love it when I get my own hair in my food. That's great. Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm super duper excited about today's video because I am going to be trying the long-awaited, newly launched Impossible Whopper, I think is what it's called, from Burger King, which I know it already was released in a couple of select locations, but today it just went nationwide, um, and my city was not one of the cities that the Impossible Whopper was originally released at, so I have not been able to try it yet. Okay, I'm gonna order real fast and I'll go back. the impossible whopper meal a medium but can I have the patty microwaved a diet coke please and on the whopper I just want I want all like the the vegetables but I just want mustard on it so no ketchup and no mayonnaise please all right thank you have you guys sold many of the impossible whoppers today really that's good though yeah, but like if you look online, it says that it is uh, made on the same thing that the regular patties are made on, so it's not even vegetarian unless you get it microwaved. Yeah. So I'm like, Hi. thank you so much. Hi, Thanks, you too. So as I was saying, um, there's a lot of controversial ideas concerning the Whopper because while it is considered a vegan option, it's actually grilled on the same grills that like the regular beef patties are grilled on. So technically, if you get it without asking for it to be microwaved, um, it's not even considered vegetarian because it will have, oh my gosh. I didn't realize that the medium fries for the, were this large, so I'm probably not going to eat them all, which, fun fact, their french fries are vegan. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, it's not even considered vegetarian if you don't ask for it to be microwaved. So, you have to ask for them to microwave it. And when I asked her if um, there had been a lot of people buying the Impossible Whopper today, she said yes. But I'm the first person who has asked for it to be microwaved. So, if you have purchased the Impossible Whopper from the Kokomo location on La Fountain slash Espanol Street. Um, Espanol Street or Espanol Road? I don't know, but you didn't get a vegetarian or even a vegan uh, Whopper today, so sorry about your luck, but remember for future reference to ask for it to be microwaved. bottom of the bag fries are the best by the way fight me if you don't agree oh my gosh this thing is hefty it says whopper with cheese hopefully she didn't put cheese on mine so we'll see there is cheese and there is mayonnaise on my burger and there's ketchup i specifically asked for mustard Like beef. What the f Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna have to take it back, honestly, anyhow. But, okay, is this just trickery or is that an actual beef patty? Because that looks like beef. It smells like beef. Like, there's no way this is. I gotta take this back and then we're gonna do second trial, okay? Okay, so I am leaving Burger King now and they may have done me dirty, but. They have the best customer service. The guy saw me pull up and he came running out <laughs> telling me, oh, they're making you a new one, they're making you a new one. So he knew that they had given me the wrong uh, burger because not only did they give me a Whopper um, with cheese and mayonnaise, but they also gave me, it was a real beef patty. So I was right, it smelled like beef and um, it was beef, but a plus customer service. They were so nice. They were so funny. They wanted me to blame this on Indian Heights. And honestly, if I didn't already say that, it was the Burger King over by, um, yeah, Espanol Drive. Um, I would have blamed it on Indian Heights. <laughs> no offense, Burger King over on the Indian Heights area. But uh, yeah, I grew up in Indian Heights and 
not a fan. So I'm gonna go back to the park and we're gonna give this a second try. Meanwhile, I ate all of my fries practically in the process of just driving to Burger King. And that tells you how excited I am. Also how hungry I am because I've not eaten yet today. I've been saving myself for this burger just for them to give me the wrong patty. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go back to the park and then we're gonna try this again. So on my way to the park, I thought of something that I also wanted to talk about uh, before, we before we try the burger. Something else that is considered controversial about this burger is the fact that it is very high in calories. I think it's roughly the same amount of calories and fat as the regular Whopper, um, so the all beef one. But here's the thing. Being a vegan does not mean that you're on a diet. Being a vegan is a lifestyle choice. It's not necessarily a diet choice. Um, so yeah, the patty may still be high in calorie and high in fat, but A, no animals were harmed in the process of making the burger, which is kind of like the main point of being a vegan. Also, it's going to be cholesterol free, which is very important to numerous people because you cannot um, consume cholesterol if you are on a pure plant-based diet. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of controversial that it's a higher in calorie burger, but who cares if you're saving animals and not consuming cholesterol, it's still a healthier option than like getting a traditional Whopper, okay? Providing that you get the right burger patties and no cheese and no mayonnaise because obviously cheese and mayonnaise will make it non-vegan. Um, and then those products also do contain uh, cholesterol and will make it higher in calorie and higher in fat. Oh, they gave me a little paper. Um, Impossible Whopper, 100% Whopper, 0% beef. Why you always lying? It's just like the classic Whopper, but made with an Impossible Patty, which I did find out that they are actually going to be releasing the Impossible Patty at uh, grocery stores, which is cool, except my grocery stores, because I live in Kokomo, and being a vegan is not a thing, or being a vegetarian really isn't too much of a thing. Yeah, it won't last long. I'm hoping that this lasts. Burger King, please make this last. I did see that they've had, just in the first couple of hours that they started selling lunch, I did see that they already had an 18% increase in Whopper sales, so that should say something. How it is cooked. The Impossible Patty is 0% beef. It's made entirely from plant-based sources, but it is cooked on the same broiler as our Whopper Patty, so they do inform you. I feel like they should inform you when you order it and be like, hey, do you want that microwave? But that is nice that you do at least get informed at some point, even though it's after the fact. What's in it? The Impossible Patty is made from plants. The main ingredients are soy and potato protein, coconut oil, sunflower oil, which is good to know because like my best friend Crystal, she is allergic to coconut. So she, I was going to see if she wanted to try this burger with me, but thankfully I didn't ask her because she can't eat coconut. I guess I was gonna insert a picture to show you what it looked like. This is what it should look like. So let's find out. <laughs> Let's see. And I have even more napkins. So thank you Burger King for that because I am like a napkin whore. I, napkin whore, napkin hoarder, both, okay. Oh, and see, it even has the the new uh, paper, outer paper packaging. I don't know, I feel 1000% better about this patty. Let me get my thumbnail real fast and then we'll crack into it, crack into it, break into it. That sounds violently messy. Um, we're just gonna eat it, okay? Okay, it definitely smells different. I do not get the instant beef smell, so that's good. This is what mine looks like. I understand, since I'm a photographer and I've done food photography, I understand what goes into making it look like this, but as far as realistic expectations, it still looks pretty bomb. Um, in comparison to what some of them look like. Uh, yeah, so you can see there's the lettuce, tomato, pickle, all of that goodness, and it's getting all over the place, so love that. Honestly, I love messy burgers. I love messy food. Like, I hate it, but I love it. I hate to get it all over me, but also, like, it tastes better if it's messy. Um, okay, it doesn't look exciting. I'm sure, like, if you use it on the broiler, you would have the grill marks and all of that. 
I just got barbecue sauce all over <laughs> my shirt. All right, I'm so excited. a big bite. All right, I just want to taste the patty. I don't know if it tastes like beef. I don't know what beef tastes like. It tastes good. I think it tastes really good, honestly. Um, I actually really like it. I mean, I could see myself going and ordering this, especially, like, if I were somewhere and I needed to go to a fast food restaurant. I like fast food restaurants having vegan options because as of right now, I mean, obviously, I can always go to Taco Bell, and then White Castle has a vegan burger, um, which let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. I It would not be a first impression because I love their vegan burger, and I eat it all the freaking time because, let's be real, I'm not a vegan because I'm trying to be healthy. I'm a vegan because I want to save animals. But this is delicious. I really like this. Um, I don't know if this amount of veggies is common for Whoppers. I feel like I need to kind of like redistribute them because all of my onions are in one spot. But I mean, I've never in my life had a Whopper, honestly, like obviously. But it's really good. This is what it looks like on the bottom. It looks very <laughs> anemic sad I don't know it's not the prettiest looking patty but again it was microwave so keep your expectations low but it is really good it's a little hard around the edges I think you microwaved it just like a little bit too long mm. okay so this is so good I'm gonna have to go exercise after I eat this and I feel like not guilty it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel like super messy is in like taking a bite and like having stuff drip. So it doesn't feel like full of fat, although I know it is full of fat. Here's the thing. Burger King already has a meatless patty. I don't think this one replaced it, but it is, I think it's just like a veggie, like it's the BK veggie burger. And the patty is not vegan. It is vegetarian. My son absolutely loves it, but it's got like, I think water chestnuts and mushrooms and it's a patty but then it's got the vegetables cooked into it whereas this one is more of like a even consistency soy burger faux patty but this is this is delicious you guys okay I'm gonna go because I'm gonna finish the rest of this burger and then I'm gonna go exercise definitely because I'm gonna need to and yeah if you guys have tried this comment down below if you have if you haven't like go go try it I will see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to give this video a like. And I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye.